everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today, so excited, I was waiting for the hand soap sale and we are good. So I have a lot of hand soaps to show you guys. So I was taking advantage of the 325 hand soap sale and I used my coupon for $10 off your purchase of 40. So I had to buy 13 hand soaps, which, you know, it's a lot, but they came down to like two, oh, where's my receipt? Don't hit it. There was, it came down to like $2.48 a piece, I want to say, which is like, you can't beat it. So I'm not going to show you one of the hand soaps because that's actually going to be a Christmas gift for someone else. So I have 12 hand soaps to show you today. They are in bags one and two because, you know, 13 hand soaps. I'm showing you 12. There's a lot to show you. These are heavy. My goodness, I'm weight training with that. So I'm going to show you the hand soap sales. I will note before I dive in, I was going to pick up the chocolate one, like the white, white cocoa something or other. It smells really good. Unfortunately, I went on the Saturday, which was day two of the sale because my mom wanted to go with me and uh, they were sold out of that scent. So like the whipped chocolate one, it's gone, unfortunately. That happened last year as well with the, um, what was it? That also happened last year with Coconut Mint Drop. That packaging was so stunning. I could have picked that soap up this year. I opted not to. I do have the pocket bag. I think I'm good for that kind of scent. So I didn't pick it up, but anyway. So there's one scent I didn't get, and so that kind of affected the purchasing a little bit. So I ended up doubling up, or in some cases more than that, on some of these hand soaps to get to that 13. So I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna start off with the two hand soaps that are more like core line any time of the year. I do really enjoy them. Uh, first off, Kitchen Mandarin. I may have a backup in my collection. I'm not sure. I may not. So either this is my backup or it's the only one I have. I'm not sure. I'll have to see what happens when we get to inventory. Kitchen Mandarin is such a good scent. This is Sparkling Mandarin, Fresh Thyme, and Cedarwood. I really like this orange scent. And I will note that they had out their new collection of hand soaps. It was like lavender cloud, pineapple mango, sweet orange, bright orchid, and uh, sweet apple, I believe. You know pineapple mango and I, we do not get along. Uh, lavender's not my kind of scent. I did smell sweet apple. I contemplated it. However, I do prefer afternoon apple picking. So I, I've got backups of those, so I didn't get that. Um, the sweet orange scent... I like Kitchen Mandarin better. So I just opted to get another classic Kitchen Mandarin. It's the white barn packaging. Now, unfortunately, any soap that has this, like, name or the word kitchen as part of its name, it makes it kind of hard for me just to put it in a bathroom. But we'll kind of see how it goes. But I really do enjoy Kitchen Mandarin. I know I have one of these. It's sitting right there, actually. It's Peach Bellini. This is so good. Uh, this is a Juicy Peach White Apricot Fresh Mango. I do think I prefer it in the hand soap. I think that's my favorite so far. I have used up the body cream, as you guys saw. So I just I just wanted to get another one. I had to get to 13 somehow, so go with the classic. Okay, now let's get into Christmas stuff. So let's start off with Christmas Kitchen. So kind of keeping that same theme that I just mentioned with having Kitchen in the name. Uh, because I've just started putting out, like transitioning to my Christmassy hand soaps, I have one fall hand soap that's left, but that one is currently in the bathroom. And I'm trying to plow through that one. And then I want to put a different one of these sets out. So I'm going to probably save this guy here for next Christmas season to put it out in the kitchen. Of course, no set notes on these. So I'm going to have to rely on some editing for future Karina. Um, for what Christmas Kitchen is, it's got like a bread note. It's got a fruit note. I think it's got vanilla. And I thought it was decent. So I thought I would just give it a try. It's probably going to be a one and done, but... I was willing to try this one. And from that same packaging, I also picked up a snowy peach berry. This one smells real good. Um, I do have the candle in this, the pocket back. I think that's all I have now, the hand soap. So I'm not sure when I would use this. Like obviously the packaging isn't super, super wintery. Um, yeah, it just smells real good. Uh, it's definitely a different kind of peach because it's got that berry note compared to peach bellini. Actually, I have to sniff them. I feel like this is almost like a mashup. I feel like this is almost like a mashup of peach bellini and champagne toast, actually. So I'd have to smell those and kind of do a comparison that way. But that's kind of where my brain just went right now. 
So there we go, snowy peach berry. This might be like a winter transition to spring scent. Summer scent, fall scent. I'll figure it out. And you guys, they had a cute little puppy and kitty collection. Coconut mint drop was part of it. I, 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 I did think about it, but it's like, I don't know how much I'm going to want that kind of scent for hand soap. They had flannel, which I'm not a fan of, and there was one other one in that collection. But this one is the Cranberry Vanilla Creme. It has scent notes of bright cranberry, red apple, and vanilla creme. And it's mainly the packaging. I could have left this one scent-wise. I do have frosted cranberry out at my kitchen sink right now. Um, and cranberry just isn't my favorite kind of fruit anyway, so I think it's kind of like a one and done which is why there's no frosted cranberry in this haul. But this just smells nice and bright and different and interesting, and it has some cute little puppies on it. So I got it. <laughs> I had to get it. Um, and yeah, this is obviously also kind of festive. So this is probably going to be one of the first things going out next year for Christmas time, I think. We'll kind of have to see. This is where we start getting into tons of backup. So you guys know, uh, let's just say it right now, Vanilla Bean Noel. I did pick up three of these. So when I was at my aunt's over the summer, she had this one. It was like the 2020 White Barn packaging down in her basement. I loved using this soap, and so I'm excited to have it. And I ended up getting three of them, partly to get to that 13. So we have scent notes here of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. Uh, I'm going to be putting this soap out as soon as Champagne Apple and Honey is done. That's the one that's currently in the bathroom. It's the last fall scent. This is going out next because I want to have it out, you know, as we're getting into December. So I'm excited to play with them. Uh, so yeah, I like... I think uh, I think champagne, apple, and honey has maybe two weeks left in it. It's really hard to judge, but that is the bathroom and the sink that I use the most for hand washing. So one of these is going to go out next, and we'll have it for the Christmas season. I'm not sure if after that I will want to use another one, if I'm just going to be saving these for future years, and then I don't have to buy vanilla bean Noel. We'll just kind of have to see how I feel with the scent as I progress through. And the last scent I'm going to show you, honestly, guys, the packaging last year was better. I do have one left of last year's packaging, which I might dump these ones into that one, depending on how the bottle goes. That's my current thinking thought. We'll have to see. But it is like my favorite scent, you guys. I love it. It is strawberry snowflakes. So strawberry snowflakes, we have scent notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, iced bergamot. I love this scent so stinking much. This is also super, like, it's wintry looking. So, look at you, cutie boy. Um, this scent, though, is winter. It's holiday. It's transition to spring for me. Early spring, you could get away with it. This packaging does set this more into winter. So, I currently have five of these in my collection because I have one of last year's stunning packaging last year but I loved it so much so I'm not super upset about having so many like I'm a little bit cognizant of it but I love this scent and I'm glad to have so many of them in my collection. That's my pick up of the hand soap sale and for those of you who are curious I'm just gonna do a little here's my planning thought at this point. So right now I have uh, champagne apple and honey at the kitchen, I have frosted cranberry, like I mentioned. And then in the other bathroom, I have, oh, we're not going to talk about downstairs because I'm never downstairs and there's still that soap from forever ago. Uh, but in the other up, like main floor bathroom, I got a Christmas gift last year. It was a non Bath and Body Works soap. It's like a fresh pine scent. And it's a big guy. It's like twice the size of a Bath and Body Works. So that's going to take a while to go through. But that's what I have out right now. Once I have the fall scent out. I'm going to put out a vanilla bean Noel. The next soap I'm going to probably pull, it's in my Fifty Shades of Brown project um, that I keep ignoring uh, and I keep pushing that hand soap off. It's Marshmallow Fireside. I think it's like it's the 2022 packaging, I want to say. So it is older in my collection and it's in a project. So I will probably put that one out next. And then I have some in mind from last year. I kind of want to start working my way through. I think I want to get Winterberry Ice out. 
so that had stunning packaging so i think i want to do that one and then obviously i need to be doing some strawberry snowflakes because i love that and i have so many backups now so those are kind of like my initial thoughts of where i'm going with my hand soaps and then of course once we start getting into the transition to spring then i have these two hand soaps right here they're both 2022s as well uh, so we have mountainside mist and then sweet mint and rain and that's going to kind of kick start my transition into spring and i do have lots of backups of crisp morning air and strawberry pound cake so i kind of want to fit those in over this winter as well so we'll kind of see how everything fits but that's the current thinking thought I might be overthinking it, but I'm that kind of person. I like to plan out what hand soaps am I going to be pulling, what body care am I going to be, like, I am definitely a big plan ahead kind of person. So if you like those kind of sneak peeks behind the scenes, there you go. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you were shopping for sale, what were you picking up? And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.